a breakthrough on Alzheimer's. There is, but this morning, yeah. Lily have announced a big clinical trial with a new drug for Alzheimer's. It's called Denanumab, one of these mouthfuls. Mm-hmm. It's slowed down progression by 35% pad in the trial, which is, which is quite a big effect overall, mm-hmm. you know. So again, it's really optimistic that we're going to crack Alzheimer's ultimately. The reason why it's very important, Pat, is another company called Esai, a few months ago had a drug called Acanamab going after the same process in the body and that worked as well. So now we have two separate companies replicating each other, if you will, and it probably means that this target is already going to go after. Okay, now what is the drug designed to do? Is it designed to, let, let's speak in the only terms I know, the plaque. Yeah, the plaque, yeah. Well, for yes. years we've known a thing called beta amyloid, a protein, builds up in your brain and yeah. clogs the hippocampus where your memories are and that clogging destroys the hippocampus. It's like dirt building up, if yeah. you will, and then your memory goes because the hippocampus is where your memories are stored. So the idea was to clear the plaque, which, which is made of beta amyloid, you might see a therapeutic effect. It's been controversial. There's been evidence against this and there's been naysayers and all sorts. You know? But now two separate companies have an antibody, by the way. It's an antibody made in the lab that can mop up the plaque like a sponge and then clear the hippocampus of this stuff and therefore you oh, don't okay. see the same level of damage going on is the idea. And for me, it, it, it kind of further evidence for what's called the beta amyloid hypothesis. It was a hypothesis for a long time. So. Now, uh, there's one way you can test it and that's get uh, lots of people who are developing uh, memory loss and so on. The other way, of course, is to scan people. Yeah. Put them on it for a while, scan them, measure the amount yeah. of plaque. Are they doing that? They because that would I- impress yeah. me even more. They are doing that, yeah. And you can measure the thing in the blood and all. So there's all these biomarkers now which yeah. are used. What was great for us, it was a one-year trial. They measured things like, now people with Alzheimer's, early stage Alzheimer's, managing your finances. Can you drive? Can you still do your hobby? Can you still talk about current affairs? They were the metrics they used, you yeah. see. In the placebo group, they declined in those parameters because Alzheimer's yeah. was taking its hold. In the treated group, there's a 35% effect. Now, it's not a 100%, remember. We'd love it to be higher, but it's a bit, it's a bit like fingertips on the cliff face territory here. Yeah. And in the UK now, they're all saying this is the beginning of a treatment age for Alzheimer's. C- current therapies just have just yeah. treat some of the symptoms. Now, now, for the people who didn't get that, who got the placebo, if they put them on that now, could it reverse? I mean, th- that'd be very interesting if you could actually get back some of the stuff you've lost. You, you never know. It's, it's the beginning of all that now, but the trouble is, as it progresses, it's harder to reverse. It's the usual thing, closing the stable door after the horse has bolted territory. Mm. The earlier you go in, the better always with any disease. Alzheimer's is the same. If it progresses too far, it could be too hard to reverse. So sadly, people listening yeah. with relatives who have Alzheimer's now, it may not work in those people, sadly. Although you never know. I mean, they will yeah. try now various patient groups. Watch. They've got a drug now that seems to work, and now let's try it across the board and see what happens. So you it, never know. It's interesting. You know the way they say when you delete something from your computer, if you do something bold, the cops will come and they'll find it, it's still there. The human brain may not be like that. It may it, not, it, and the damage might be too much, da- you see, is the gone. problem. And you never wiped. know, what we'd love to see repair, wouldn't mm. we, Pat? That's the next thing sure. to go after, you know. What this does, by the way, but it galvanises Alzheimer's research. There's, there's optimism, you see. Many companies will jump on this watch, start yeah. to make their own version and different versions. Because we'll, we'll, we'll it's expensive uh, now, I mean, to produce it. Uh, the market, um, they say it's limited, but as more and more people are uh, ageing, living longer, um, you know, the memory goes, yep. other bits and pieces that, you know, you would have been dead long before well, these well, ailments hit you, but well, you're not. You're living long enough it, to get it, them. It's a frightening prospect, Pat, because given that we're all living longer, Alzheimer's will become a huge epidemic in a way. You know, So we need something now, almost. Cause as soon as we can get new therapies, the better. And it's very expensive, Alzheimer's, for the health system because people are in homes and all sure. the rest. If that slows that down, even though it might be expensive as a drug, you'll save money on the other. The current price, by the way, Pat, they're talking about €25,000 per patient for the yeah. Eastside drug, so it's not cheap. You know? Okay, but what, what does it cost to keep someone in a nursing home for a month? What, yep. I don't know, exactly. thousands and thousands. That's exactly Multiply right. Multiply that by 12, you get the annual cost. Yep. This drug would be cheaper than nursing home care. That's the point, and the pricing, the very commercial, the pricing is set by what you save on the other side kind of thing. So we'll see what happens with the price, but, mm-hmm. but certainly it's very good news for Alzheimer's this morning.